As mentioned, New Zealand First MP Shane Jones says people dissatisfied with the tougher partnership rules should get on a plane home if they're not happy, while a man we'll call Arjun is doing exactly that after his wife was declined a visa following their arranged marriage in India. He has New Zealand residency but says he can't wait for a review of his wife's case after taking months to get this far. But Arjun says the government now needs to be clear about whether it's going to reopen the cases of those in arranged marriages who have also been declined visas in the clampdown. We've applied for my partnership visa, for my wife's partnership visa in April, and I've lived together with my partner for six weeks. I had uh, annual leave. I've taken six weeks of annual leave, and prior to that, during my wedding, I've taken another four weeks of annual leave. So in one calendar year, I've taken 10 weeks, and then uh, we've applied in April. And after waiting for six months and pretty much asking them on a daily basis, uh, uh, they've they've finally assigned the case officer in October and declined it right away after an interview call within an hour or two, saying that we haven't lived together. Okay, so to be clear, you're uh, Indian and you have permanent residence in New Zealand. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And I have a PhD from University of Canterbury. Okay, so was this an arranged marriage? Yes, this was an arranged marriage. Okay, so apart from the time that you had spent with your wife when you took annual leave, had you mm-hmm. had you lived with her for an extended period of time, which was what the new rules are, wasn't it? So mm-hmm. yeah, so the new rules say that uh, the applicant should be living with their partner at the time of assessment, and they should have at least really spent uh, three to four months uh, in in living together. So b- before marriage. The Indian tradition and culture is that you 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 don't get you don't get to live together with your partner before you get married because it's the traditional sort of way and we only get we only live together when we do get married. So I got married on 21st of January and since then we've lived together for six weeks. If you were declined, what were your plans? What what were your plans now? So my plans now I, I I've talked to I've sent an email to the immigration minister and I got a reply saying. Uh, well, uh, it, this this is a policy issue from Immigration New Zealand. So if you have any questions, just write a complaint to Immigration New Zealand. So I talked to a lawyer, and the, the lawyer's advice was pretty kind of to the point. They said, look, you can do, uh, at the end of the day, you can do quite a lot of things. But what matters is me living with my partner. So she advised, if that's what you want to accomplish, you want, you want to go back and refile at some point. So what I'm trying to do now is I've got hold from my employment. I've asked for an extended annual leave for six months. I've dissolved my tenancy agreement in New Zealand and I'm vacating my stuff and I'm going back to India on this Sunday. So you are packing everything up because of this immigration decision to go and live with your wife so that you can meet the criteria to get her a visa. Yep. What do you make... What do you make of the news today then that the Prime Minister is asking immigration to reverse this tough stance, to go back to the way it was and consider exemptions? Uh, it's kind of, it's, it's a really good start, at least that the Prime Minister has taken the step of addressing this issue head on. We haven't been hearing from the Labour Party on this issue so far. At least now that we have this, it's, it's good what, what's going to happen uh, for the new applicants that are coming in. There's, there, there's a bit of guidance, but I don't think it's quite there yet because there is no guidance on what happened to the mass rejections that were given out in October uh, in uh, the last month of this year. The, I, I know of 300 applications that were rejected based on the same criteria as I have. So we are still in the limbo. I don't know what to do, what my future entails. So are you going to carry on? Are you going to carry on and go back to India or are you going to wait and see what happens? Yeah, I am going back to India because at the end of the day, I want to live with my partner, regardless of uh, me being in New Zealand or India. I want to be with my partner and I can't wait for another eight months after having waited for an eight mo- for eight months and then them decline- declining it. So what we want from the government now is a clear answer as to what happens to the people in the situation that I am in right now. So they have declined quite a lot of these applications. Are they going to reassess these applications? Are they going to open these applications again? And if so, how long would it take for them to come back with an answer of decline or whether they're going to approve it? A permanent resident, they're talking to us about his arranged marriage and the difficulty of getting a partnership visa.